supposed to smile. There you go. <laughs> Housekeeping first, um, the family, Matthew and Carol, have invited you to the Cavendish Elementary for the reception. It's a pleasure. And, uh, the most important thing in the pursuit of happiness is choosing the right traveling companion. We are gathered today in this cooperation of love to unite Carol and Matthew, two people who have chosen to travel to life together in Mary. Rejoice with them that of all the world they have chosen each other and wish that they would continue to find the deeper meaning and richness of human life in sharing it together. We we'll have a reading by Matthew's mother, Carolyn. This is a reading from St. Paul to the Corinthians on the nature of love. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends, love never fails. I wish you love. We will now have a blessing by Joanne Parker, friend of Daphne and Carol. Blessing comes from the Word of God. Close down. <laughs> Dear God Almighty, I pray to ask you to bless this marriage between Matthew and Carol. It's truly a holy covenant before you, Lord, and to be honored by all. May you bless this couple to stay together forever until death do them apart. Your Word says, that at the beginning the Creator made them male and female and said for this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife and the two will become one flesh so they are no longer two but one. Therefore what God has joined together let no one, no man separate. 
uh, Proverbs 18.22, it says, He who finds a wife finds what is good and receives favor from the Lord. Lord God Almighty, I pray that you bless this couple to know you as individuals and a unit and to be very happy. Though your, your word says, though one, may, though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Lord, I pray you bless them to delight themselves in you, and I know you will bless them with the desires of their heart. Holy Father, may you bless them with love that never fails, that their mother just, just read just now. Lord, thank you so much for this couple and all their friends and family that is here. Bless this wonderful occasion, and may they go forth today as husband and wife and, and with, with your blessing. It's in your holy name we pray. Amen. 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 <clears throat> These vows, through which you accept each other, have no hidden meaning within themselves. Only to the extent do they express in words your continuing intentions and commitment do they have any real meaning. The expression in today's vows is simply a visible milestone in this new journey together. I invite you to face each other and clasp hands. These are the hands of your best friend, young, strong, and full of love for you, that are holding you on your wedding day. As you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours together as you build your new future. These are the hands that will passionately love and cherish you through the years.
us pray. A powerful, ever-loving God, Matthew and Carol are here before you very happy, but sometimes nervous. <laughs> you brought them together in the beginning, helped them grow, and at this moment are with us in a special way as we celebrate this marriage. We ask that you stay by their side in the days ahead, protect them from anything that might harm this marriage, give them courage when burden comes their way, teach them to forgive one another when they fail. We ask finally, in their old age, they will love one another as much as they do at this very moment. May you grant these wishes, which we all offer through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May peace always dwell in your hearts. May you always have true friends and family to stand by you in joy and sorrow. May you be ready with help and consolation for those who come to you, but more especially for each other. May blessings descend upon you and unite your hearts in the enduring bond of pure love. For as much as Matthew and Carol have consented to live together in marriage, declaring their love for one another by the authority vested in me by the state of Vermont, I declare you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah.